And this evening, we told you that according to the report, former superintendent of the Holyoke Soldiers Home, Bennett Walsh, was recommended for the job by a then state representative from Western Massachusetts. Former state rep John Velas won a special election in May and is now a state senator. He spoke with 22 News this evening after hearing about the findings in today's report, which he says are inaccurate. He said he had no involvement in the hiring of Bennett Walsh and clarified that when he and Walsh met for the first time, it was over coffee, which Vilas told us was recommended by one of his constituents. It's not a decision that I participate in. Obviously, I'm not on the board of trustees. Obviously, I'm not in the administration. It was an introductory meeting where we talked about all things in the military, and then we talked the superintendent's job. And, and my response was, hey, if this is a job you want to apply for, apply for the job. So did you say anything to the Board of Trustees in recommending him? No, there was there it was it was that meeting where we had that conversation and it was if you want to apply for this job, go apply for the job. And then again, and I think this is critical, we talked about that. He brought it up to his credit, that lack of that medical background where I expressed to him again, I don't know, I don't think it's a prerequisite just based on the fact that the two outgoing, the superintendent and the deputy, did not have one. However, if the superintendent doesn't have one, I think it's critical, absolutely critical, that the deputy does have one. Senator Vilas told us that investigators never reached out to him for comment prior to the report being published.